Spin the arrows on the two spinners shown below. R equals 10 times the number that results from spinner A added to the number that results from spinner B. What is the probability that R is a perfect square? The probability that R is a perfect square equals the number of perfect squares that we can count in the set divided by the number of total outcomes. Assuming each outcome is equally likely. That is how we calculate probability. So let's look at the denominator first because that's pretty easy. I can look at spinner A and see there are four outcomes. And independent of that, event B is running spinner B, which is also four outcomes. So by my counting principle, the number of ways to get both spinner outcomes is the product of each outcome. So it's four times four or 16. The denominator of my probability calculation is going to be 16. I can actually list out the pairs pretty easily with a scenario analysis. I know this first spinner A is 10 times the number shown. So that's 10s, 20s, 30s, and 40s respectively. So I would write 10, and then the single digit is going to be the 5, 6, 7, or the 8 from spinner B. So my outcomes would be the following 16 results, 15, 16, 17, 18, 25, 26, 27, 28, 35, 6, 7, 8, 45, 6, 7, 8. I need to know how many of these are perfect squares. 16 is a perfect square. 25 is a perfect square. 36 is a perfect square. The next perfect square of 7 is 49, so that's not going to be part of our set. The numerator for our probability calculation is going to be 3 16 the correct answer for the number of perfect squares or the probability that R is a perfect square, and remember this is our list of R's right here, is 3 over 16.